Okay, in this video, I'm going through the three express pure physics term for 2022 paper. Uh, this video will cover, I think, question five. Um, so this question, we actually have done it in our summative worksheet for kinematics. So if you have prepared properly, you would have tried this question back at home. So anyway, um, I, I changed the question slightly. In fact, I make it easier. Uh, rather than asking you to sketch the entire graph, I have given you part of the graph. Uh, I have given you a direct hint, and that is the acceleration of the ball will remain constant throughout its motion. And you have to use this hint to actually solve uh, one of the, uh, the last part of the question here. Uh, we'll cover that later. So down here, uh, you are, in part A, you are asked uh, when we reach the maximum height. So um, if you didn't prepare well, intuition may uh, lead you to conclude that, oh, okay, this is the highest point and so the maximum height is here. So you can't do that. Uh, in kinematic, we learned that for one dimensional motion, if uh, the object reaches maximum height, the velocity will be uh, at, a, at an instance equal to zero. Right, and this particular instance, you can find it over here at the green dot. So because of that, uh, the timing will be 0 0.20 seconds in 2SF. Uh, in part B, you are asked to find the displacement of the ball. So many of you uh, recall that to find displacement of a ball for a velocity that's changing, you must find the area under the, the line. And uh, for those of you who is taught by me, I hope you recall that I told you, you guys will make mistake when you want to find the area. But it seems that even for my class, a lot of you have forgotten. So what do you mean by uh, the area under the graph? Actually, uh, we are referring to the area. So here I give you the three, three examples where most students uh, uh, try to give me an answer. Actually, the area that we refer to when we, find, uh, when we want to find displacement of a ball on, on a velocity time graph, the displacement is between is enclosed, I, I should use the word enclosed. Okay, please write this down as I'm writing so that when you revise, you will realize that, oh, I make this silly mistake here. Let's not do it again in end of year. Enclosed by the line and the x-axis. So if you know this information, you, would, you will see that this is not the area that you should be calculating. Right, it is not confined by the edge of the grid, because if not, I, I can print like, I can print the graph on a a a three size paper, and then your grid will be like super big. So is your is your area, uh, going to be as big as well? No, right. So because of that, it doesn't make sense. It is I I spend quite a lot of time to understand that. Oh, some of you actually look at the area under the graph like that. It is not confined by the edge of the grid. Right, this is called the grid. That this entire thing is called the grid. So it is not confined by this 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 thing, right? So if you are doing this, this is wrong. Then some of you, I know you will do this. You you see it as a triangle, right? No, it is not. It is not. In fact, I I could be even more evil and I put dotted line over here to give you the visual, uh, uh, cue that oh this is a right angle triangle. Think people will 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 fall into traps like that when uh, the setter uh, gives certain visual cue, right? Trying to hint to you that, hey, um, you know, it is a right angle triangle. So if you want to find displacement from the area and uh, in a velocity time graph, it is the area enclosed by the line. This is called the line, right? And the x-axis, right? Then of course you want to find the time, right? So this is the area that uh, you should be searching for. And for this, uh, there is positive area and a negative area. So here it will be positive area. This is negative area. You need to subtract them, right? Because we are finding displacement and displacement could be negative, right? So find it, uh, you, you, can, you can find the uh, answer uh, if you go to one node, okay? Um, then after that for part C, uh, you are supposed to find uh, what you are calculating in part B, which is over here, you are finding the displacement at time equals to 0 0.6. So at time equals to 0 0.6, it is where the ball has reached uh, just before hitting the ground, right? And you know that the ball started from here. So what is the displacement 
uh, from time equals to 0 0.6 to 0 well it will be the uh, displacement will be this right and remember whenever you want to indicate displacement you have to tell me from where to where you cannot just put a h like down there or you cannot like just point h to a point right displacement is not a point right it is a distance from somewhere to somewhere so for the last part uh, you have to actually use figure 5.1 to actually find out what is the rebound speed uh, after the ball hit the floor at 0 0.6 seconds so to solve this question you need to make use of the hint uh, given to uh, to you at the beginning of the context and that is the acceleration of the ball is going to remain constant throughout its motion so you need to tap onto the knowledge that uh, acceleration is given by the gradient of a VT graph and if now I tell you that acceleration is constant it means that the gradient of this entire graph is going to be constant as well so since you are you know the slope of the initial part of the the, the graph what you need to do is that you need to actually draw an other parallel uh, line and this line should cut 0 0.6 somewhere so it can be either here it can be either here it can be either here so where to put this parallel line becomes the next part of the challenge now if you read uh, the last part of the question there is another hint given to you and that is the ball actually rebound upward and is caught by Tifa at K so it means that uh, the motion of the ball must cut K right because you, you, you are being caught at K right so now it means that now I can locate K so K is actually here so it means that when I draw this parallel line I need to shift it such that this parallel line actually cuts K and when I do that you can see that my line will look like this and what it tells you is that it means it is bouncing off the ground at time equals to 0 0.6 like that so you can actually find what is the velocity right here and it tells you that V is minus 3 and it agrees right because when it first dropped right when it first oh sorry when it first being thrown up right this is the diagram given to us where is it where's the diagram where's the man oh here right so the ball is first thrown upwards and you can see that when the ball is first thrown upwards over here and over here when the ball is first thrown upwards you can see that it is in the negative zone so when the ball rebound from the floor it should also be in the negative zone right so that's how you determine the uh, rebound velocity right by using the graph so eventually you will actually get a speed of minus 3.0 meter per second okay if you do not understand this please come forward now or whatsapp me so that i can explain to you the thing about doing term tests is that you must clear your doubt before the end of